Hey everyone, Astronaut Boy here. Looks like we got some news about a classic British comedy, Faulty Towers. This is from The Sun. Faulty Towers Returns, classic sitcom, Faulty Towers, is revived after 44 years with John Cleese back as Basil alongside his daughter. Mm, interesting. So we continue. Classic sitcom, Faulty Towers, gets a new series. 44 years after it ended. John Cleese, who's 83, wow, <laughs> boy, we're all getting old, will write it again and play Basil Fawlty. That's what he looked like in the original incantation. And that is him in more recent times. What year is this? Uh, it's not really saying, but that is his daughter who's in her late 30s, I believe. And then there's the uh, actor that played uh, Manuel, Andrew Sachs, who sadly passed away in 2016. Okay. And then there was the landmark Faulty Towers building. I, I believe <clears throat> this, uh, this building no longer exists. That's my understanding. Could be wrong. Correct me if in the deal. But anyway, Cleese's daughter, Camilla, 39, will also write and star in the reboot, which will spark a TV bidding war. Manic Basil Fawlty will be seen with the modern world as he runs a boutique hotel in the Fawlty Towers reboot. John Cleese is writing and starring in a new project as he did in the original two series, along with his daughter Camellia, uh, and promises the script is excellent. Now, we'll see about that. I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll see. The latest sh shows which will see Basil running a hotel with his long-lost daughter, are likely to spark a bidding war between streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon, as well as U.S. and U.K. channels. I guess. <clears throat> I mean, Faulty Towers is... Yeah, I don't want to say it's, like, overly popular in the States, but it does have a... um, a niche uh, following, for sure. Uh, especially if you love British comedies and... Monty Python and stuff, since John Cleese was one of the Monty Python folks. American production company Castle Rock Entertainment, run by director Rob Reiner and producer Matthew George, is backing a new project. Well, Rob Reiner is not a good thing, but, well, whatever. Filming is likely to begin next year, so it's not going to be... It's going to be a while before this thing even comes out. Cleese said, when we first met, Matt offered an excellent idea. And then Matt, my daughter Camilla... And I had one of the best creative sessions I can remember. By dessert, we had an overall concept so good that a few days later, we, it won approval of Rob and Michelle Reiner. Mill and I looked uh, forward enormously to expanding it into a series. Hmm. Pressing forward, George said, I've watched the first two seasons so many times I've lost count. I dream one day of being involved in the continuation of the story, and now it's come true. Faulty Towers, which aired in 1975 with a second series in 1979, consistently tops all-time comedy lists thanks to famous scenes such as Don't Mention the War and Basil bashing his car with a branch. Brunzella Scales, 90, who played Basil's wife, Sybil, retired from acting in 2020 following her Alzheimer's diagnosis six years earlier. And we already talked about Andrew Sachs. Uh, Connie Booth, who co-wrote the original two series and played Chambermaid Polly, was married to Python star Cleese from 1968 to 1978. She quit acting in 1995. I guess she's not going to be in the new series. Cleese went on to uh, appear in films such as Clockwise, A Fish Called Wanda, and two Bond movies. He's also in um, some Harry Potter movies, too. And then it's like blah, 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 blah. Uh, boring stuff that I don't care about. So if you haven't seen the series, basically John Cleese uh, stars Basil Fawlty as Basil Fawlty. Uh He and his wife own a small hotel in Talkee, uh, which is a uh, small town, coastal town uh, in Great Britain. And he's very abusive. <laughs> He basically based the uh, character off of a time when uh, the Monty Python troupe went out to do some location filming, and they went. They were staying. Some of them were staying at a hotel, and it appeared that the hotel owner basically hated all his guests. And he and his wife at the time, Connie Booth, uh, thought that would make the uh, 
uh, ideal, <laughs> an ideal premise for a comedy series, and they weren't wrong. So, but anyway, they run the uh, basically it's just run the hotel. Manuel, you see there on the screen here, uh, is a uh, Spanish waiter who understands very little English, but you know he's cheap, so that's why um, he was hired. And then Connie Booth's character is a, a uh, like a waitress slash chambermaid. And she's around when she's not in class and stuff. Likes art and blah, blah, blah. And um, she's basically kind of level-headed and tries to keep Basil out of trouble. But, you know, you know he's always, uh, well, always getting into trouble. Um, and he's very manic and very abusive to his guests, blah, blah, blah. And that's his wife, uh, uh, played by Priscilla Scales, uh, Sybil, who, <laughs> you know, people think that she's the one that actually owns the hotel, and, and they may be right, I don't know. But uh, basically, uh, Basil sucks up to people he thinks can uh, help him, and he abuses customers who he has uh, complete and total disdain for. So, And it just leads to a lot of comedy hijinks. I think the story is funnier when... Basil is abusing people. It gets a little cringe when he starts eh, going all um, toady and stuff, uh, trying to cover up, make lies, and then lies upon lies to try to cover up uh, the fact that uh, things are not going quite as well as they should be. And you know, but overall, it's a it's a pretty enjoyable uh, series. But you know, the article goes on to talk about you know like some of uh, the best uh, stuff in Faulty Towers. So the the Goose Step stuff is basically a take on his old uh, um, Silly Walk skit from uh, Monty Python. Basically, they have a bunch of Germans over, and, and he's had a concussion. So he gets getting confused, and he keeps saying, don't mention the war, but then he keeps mentioning World War II, so... Uh, the car thrashing, this is one where he's supposed to take the car to the shop, to the garage, to get it fixed. He uh, thinks he can repair it himself, and, and he's got a night where they're <clears throat> supposed to have um, high-quality, high-paying guests. And, um, of course, the car, because he cannot repair his own car, keeps breaking down, so he gets mad and beats it with a stick. Ward off salad, this one gets a little cringe, um, because he doesn't know how to make a ward off salad. and. And so he keeps trying to bluff his way through it. And this guy over here is uh, on the left is uh, an American who uh, calls him on his bluff. Moose's head was pretty good. Um, he's supposed to hang up this this crappy looking moose head and keeps not doing it. And people sometimes think the moose is talking because there'll be a character back here doing stuff and and not realize that the uh, moose is uh, not there. So, but anyway. Um, yeah, Sybil, Sybil as a character, she's supposed to be the intelligent one, the smart one, and yet she's you know constantly um, spending her time on the phone, gossiping uh, with her friends or gossiping with guests, and you know constantly causing Basil to be all kind of uh, frantic and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, the series is pretty good on the whole. I do enjoy watching it from time to time. And will this new series be any good? You know, that's a good question. I, 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 John Cleese does have a problem with modern day um, wokeness. He's still a leftist, but he has a problem with this modern day cancel culture and comedy. And, and you know, there's a possibility that just to thumb his nose at modern society, he may do something that is, in fact... Um, quite hilarious and um, a nod back to this time when, you know, people were allowed to be funny and allowed to do just crazy, insane things and say crazy, insane things. Um, but Rob Reiner, though, gives me pause because he is definitely in the woke uh, school. So, I mean, in my mind, he would try to probably throttle some of... Uh, John Cleese's uh, comedy instincts, but you know I could be totally wrong. But we'll see if this reboot even gets off the ground. If it's not even going to start filming until next year, 
but I am kind of optimistically. I'm going to keep my eye open. We'll see if it actually makes it to America or not. I mean, when Open All Hours got a remake, it went on for several seasons in uh, Great Britain, and yet, unless you sign up for BritBox, you can't watch it in America. There's no, there's no DVD or Blu-ray release, uh, and that kind of sucks. But anyway, that's all I have. Like, subscribe, and all the other fun stuff. And we will see you in the next video. Talk to you later.